What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing yet another Midoriya Izuku. But instead of the usual My Hero, uh, Amazing Heroes line, we are doing the Ichiban Kuji My Hero vs Villains that just came out recently. Well, the thing about Midoriya is that there are plenty of Midoriyas out there. So essentially, we are kind of getting, I'm kind of getting bored of the Izuku Midoriyas already. But then still, this looks like a pretty good figurine and shout outs to Jay chan again for sponsoring this figurine. And with that, let's get right down to the unboxing. Right, our first look at Midoriya Izuku from Ichiban Kuji. I'll be honest, this figurine looks pretty damn good. First off, the pose is probably one of the most dynamic ones, even though we have a bunch of Izuku with a lot of dynamic poses ready. But still, this is pretty good because of all the effects that you can see from his quirk over here. I think that's a nice touch. And it's also using one of the new gloves, which is the same as the previous Deku that they have just released from the My Hero line. In terms of painting, to be honest, there isn't much difference besides the leg. Uh, I just want to compliment how awesome that they have touched up the metal boots with a little like a silver finish. It makes a lot of difference, like you can tell that it has a really slick metallic finish. That's one of the really cool things that you can see from the figurine besides the wood effects that you can get from his hands over here. Uh, other than that, I think they also done up the quite good job with the gold finish on the gloves on the fingers. Uh, I think it's quite a good figurine if you if you're able to get it off like a pre-owned from someone else at $30 to $40. I think this is not too bad man. I think it's deemed worthy to be better than the Amazing Heroes line compared to all the previous Deku that we have seen. I think mainly it's to do with the effects that you can tell from here that what they've added. It's a really really nice touch besides the boots and they provide us with this stand even though we don't really need it. It works well, it works fine with or without the stand and overall I think this is a really really good figurine. I really like this and I don't know if you want to play Ichiban Kuji just to get this figurine or you might as well just be buying it off pre-owned. I mean if you can get this figurine off someone for like 20 to 40 dollars, I think it's quite worth it's quite worth collecting to be honest. That's pretty much about the price of a pop-up rate or even lesser to be honest. And uh, while I feel like it's pretty much like a bun presto in terms of quality, you're paying like maybe 10 to 20 dollars more for the nice touches like you can tell from the cowl over here it's it's a really nice cool look with the whole effect and the whole uh, finish the painting and the finish it's a great touch up and for like 10 20 dollars i think it's a great top up and that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about the midoriya over here i will be doing another video on all the midoriya izukus that we have unboxed and personally telling you which one is my favorite so do look out for that video with that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up it really helped me out and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye